In a previous video, we took a convex lens of focal length five centimeters, and in front of it, we kept an object, six centimeters in front of it, and our goal was to figure out exactly where the image would be without having to draw any ray diagrams. And what we did for that is, so we introduced a formula called the lens formula, which basically connects the three things, the focal length, the image distance, and the object distance, such that if we know any two of this, we can figure out the third one, just like what we have over here. And so we substituted these values over here using signs, and then we figured out that the image was 30 centimeters from the lens. In this particular video, we want to figure out what is the height of this image. And we also want to know whether this would be a real image or virtual image. And again, we don't want to draw any ray diagrams. All right, since we're not using any ray diagrams over here, we might need a formula to tell us what the height of this image is going to be. And if you look at the lens formula, the lens formula has nothing to do with heights. So we might probably guess that there's another formula out there that helps us calculate the height of the image. And there is. And this formula is called the magnification formula. We'll talk about why it's called magnification in a while, but if you look at this formula, notice on the left-hand side, we are dealing with the heights. And the numerator has the height of the image, I for image, the denominator has the height of the object. So the left-hand side is the ratio of the height of the image to the height of the object. And that equals the ratio of the image distance, V is the image distance, and the object distance. Now, before we go ahead and substitute, let's talk about why this is called the magnification formula. And to see why, we just have to look at the left-hand side. So let's ignore the right-hand side for a while. So the reason why this is called the magnification formula is because this ratio itself is the magnification M, which means this number tells us how big the image is compared to the object. And by the way, if you've studied mirrors, then the concept over here is exactly the same that we discussed over there. But if you're not familiar with this, don't worry. We'll take a couple of examples and make this thing super clear. So let's take one example. Let's say M is two. So this ratio is two. What would that mean? Well, that would mean that the height of the image, so if this, this value was two, that means height of the image, hi, is two times the height of the object. Which means the image is twice as big as the object. So doesn't that mean that image is twice magnified compared to the object? And that's why this number, this ratio, is called the magnification. It tells us how big the image is compared to the object. But not only that, this number can also tell us whether we're dealing with a real image or a virtual image. And all you have to do for that is look at the sign of the magnification. Let's quickly recall the signs that we use for heights. Whenever we have heights above the principal axis, we usually call it as a positive height, and anything below the principal axis is called as a negative height. So in our example, the magnification is a positive number which means that the height of the image and the height of the object have the same signs. Notice that if this was positive, this would also be positive. If this was negative, this would also be negative. That means that both the object and the image are either both above the principal axis or below the principal axis. So they have the same orientation, or the image is erect. And remember, or recall that erect images are always, always virtual images. So the moment we saw that this is positive, this immediately tells us that this is a virtual image. Virtual image. So let's take another example. Let's say in our second example, M had a value of minus 0.5. Could you pause the video and think about what this means to the size of the image and the nature, whether it's real or virtual? Think about this. All right. Now, if this ratio if this number was minus 0.5, then that means that the height of the image is going to be minus 0.5 times the height of the object. And 0.5 is half. So this is telling us that the image has half the size of the object. So that's that. And look at the negative sign. This is telling us that the image has the opposite sign of the object height. So if this is positive, this is negative. 
If this is negative, negative times negative becomes positive. In other words, the image and the obje uh, object have opposite orientation. One is above the principal axis, the other one would be below the principal axis. The image is inverted, and we may recall that inverted images are always real. So this means that whenever the magnification is a negative number, this always means it's a real number, um, real image. So long story short, this number, this magnification tells us two things. It tells us how big the image is compared to the object, and it also tells us, the sign tells us whether it's a real image or a virtual image. And if you think about it, that's exactly what we want to figure out over here. We want to find out what's the height of the image, and we want to know whether this is a real or a virtual image. So this means all we have to do is figure out what's the magnification. So how do we calculate this magnification? Well, I'm pretty sure you might have already guessed it. We use this magnification formula. And just to be clear, this is not a formula. You see, this ratio itself is called the magnification. That's a name that we're giving it. That's not a formula. So what we would need is a connection between this ratio, this magnification, and these things. Maybe the object distance and the image distance and the focal length because using these values, I want to know what the magnification is. So we need a connection between M and maybe U, V, or F, or something like that. And that's where the right-hand side comes into the picture. So we can now look at the right-hand side and see what the magnification formula tells us. And turns out that the magnification for lenses equals the ratio of the image distance and the object distance. And again, by the way, if you have studied mirrors, this is very similar to what we got for mirrors. The only difference is for mirrors, we had a negative sign. Here, we don't have that. And so all we have to do now is go ahead and substitute the values over here and figure out what we want. But before we do that, remember one small thing, that these values are also sign sensitive. And so how we, how we take care of signs for distances? Well, we start from the optic center and we move in the incident direction and we call that as positive. And over here, notice the incident rays will be towards the right. So incident direction would be towards the right. And so all the positions to the right side become positive positions. Do that over here, positive positions. And all the positions to the left side will become negative positions. Okay, so now we have everything ready. We can substitute, figure out the magnification, and then figure out the height of the image and whether it's real or virtual. So, Great idea to again pause the video and see if you can try this yourself. All right, let me do this over here. Let's get rid of the lens formula. So we need to calculate the magnification M and that equals V over U. V is the image distance and since the image is on the positive side, V will be plus 30. I'm directly substituting over here. Divided by U, U is the object distance, and that's over here. And since the object is on the negative side, this object distance would be negative six centimeters. So if we simplify, centimeter cancels out, six goes five times. And as a result, notice that we end up with a negative five because there's a positive and negative. And so magnification is minus five. So this means that the height of the image, oops, let's use the same color, the height of the image is negative five times the height of the object. And so the negative sign is telling us that this is a real image. And the five is telling us that it is five times magnified compared to the object. So we can now draw the image, it's gonna be below the principal axis, it's negative, it's real, it's inverted, and this length is gonna be five times more than this. So if this is one centimeter, this would be five centimeters. If this is 10 centimeters, this would be 50 centimeters. And we have now solved our problem. So to quickly summarize what we learned, we saw that if you want to figure out the height of the image, or its nature, whether it's real or virtual, then all we need to do is figure out the magnification. The number tells us how big the image is, and the sign tells us whether it's real and virtual or virtual. And for lenses, this magnification turns out to be equal to the ratio of the image distance and the object distance.